I was recently gifted this old Logitech trackball mouse, and I thought it would be fun to exchange the PS2 cable for a USB cable, and make it usable on modern setups. First, I'm going to take the whole thing apart and give it a good clean, because it is incredibly dirty. Honestly, I don't know why I wasn't wearing gloves during this. There was just so much crap on it. It's also nice to see that Logitech has never changed their approach with designing weird shaped circuit boards to make assembly easier, um, as you can see here. A lot of plastic clips and weirdly shaped PCBs to fit into a weirdly shaped case. But ergonomics. Anyways, I'm going to break this whole thing down, drop it into this basket here, and then drop it into my ultrasonic cleaner for about an hour to get this thing really clean. And as you can see, we have a bunch of stuff floating to the surface already. It's only been in here for like a few seconds, so this is definitely needed. While those pieces are cleaning, I thought it'd be fun to replace all of these old switches with some new red switches. These are uh, red switches by Cal, or Cal. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. They're very awesome. I love them. I use them on a few other mice. Mouses? Mices? I use them on other mouse mices. I use them on other stuff is what I'm trying to say. Anyways, I'm just going to remove the old switches by just heating up all the solder joints to drop them out of place, and then wick up the solder from the holes using solder wick. With those out, we can now drop the new switches in and solder them into place. And now for the USB conversion. I picked up this active PS2 to USB adapter. I tested it out to make sure that the mouse works with it, and it did. So now I'm just going to go ahead and cut the circuit board out of the plastic housing to make it a lot slimmer to fit into the mouse house. Mouse house. Uh, to do that, I have to remove this connector right here. This is the PS2 cable connector to the mouse. I just lifted up the plastic housing, and now I'm pulling out a pin one at a time to remove that whole connector somewhat easier. I could have used my desoldering gun for this, but I really didn't want to, because uh, I had my iron heated up. So this was the next best thing, and um, wasn't too bad. With that out of the way, I can now put the circuit board in place and start wiring up the four connections from the mouse to the PS2 USB board. All of these all of these connections were verified by beeping out the PS2 to USB converter thing and then just jotting it all down on a piece of paper to make sure I had everything going the right way. Once I did, I just soldered up all these wires. There's only four. And that was pretty much it. Gave it a good clean. And now it's time to reassemble everything inside of the nicely cleaned housing. As you can see, it's pure white. It's awesome looking. Very happy with how it turned out. And I don't have to wear gloves putting it back together. Not that I would have if I didn't have to not wear gloves. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. It's 11.20 at night. I feel like my brain is fried. And I really hate making content now. It's just not worth it anymore. So I'm just going to leave this rambling. I don't really care. Just putting this mouse together here. Uh, now I have to reassemble the circuit boards into this mouse, which was a bit of a challenge. I should have taken pictures because I completely forgot how to do it. Luckily, I found someone who posted a teardown of this from seven years ago on Reddit, so shout out to them. Made it a bit easier to do this. Uh, like I said, Logitech likes making weirdly shaped stuff, and um, with that comes a jigsaw puzzle of assembly. Once I got everything in place, I just screwed in that one screw, put these switches in their channels because they weren't screwed in they're just kind of floating there with the idea of the housing the back of the housing to push up against them and now I'm just connecting the modified PS2 board to a 10 pin connector that you can't really see on camera I'm gonna route the new USB cable out the old channel 
and then put the connect, uh, put the case back back on. I'm probably going to replace these foams in the future. Right now I don't really care because they're not too bad. I did add a little bit of super glue to the um, channels that you see me dropping them into to hold them a little bit stronger. Um, it's not that bad. You'd think they'd be more deteriorated, but they're not. Uh, this mouse didn't come with any screws on the back, so luckily I had a few screws that just happened to fit on hand. And um, I'm just zipping them in right here. Very exciting stuff that'll guarantee you this video gets 200 views and not one more. And bitter rant aside, let's see if this thing works. And just like that, this mouse can now be used with USB-C instead of PS2. And let's hear those switches that I replaced. Nice and clicky. Super loud. I like that a lot. Uh, so let's go ahead and test it out. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and plug it in and see if it works. So it connects. And just like that, we have the cursor moving. Uh, clicking left click and right click as well. So this thing works. It's a bit slow though, but I think that's actually not that bad. I'm probably going to end up using this as a work mouse, and I think that's a good speed for that. So um, this is just moving back and forth. And then if I switch over to my MX Ergo, it's definitely slower. But I don't think it's that big of a deal. Cool. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I probably won't see you next time because I might be done with YouTube forever. Bye.